2020 began with AFCO banning a small group of consumers from attending pet food regulatory meetings, falsely accusing the consumers of being affiliated with a lawsuit against the organization. After consumer outrage, but only two days before the meeting began, AFCO changed their minds and allowed us to attend their meeting. The year ended with AFCO news as well. AFCO doing a complete turnaround, or at least the promise of one, on their copyright protection of pet food ingredient definitions. After years of consumer and advocate complaints to AFCO, FDA, and state regulatory officials regarding these privately owned legal definitions, AFCO has promised to make those definitions public in 2021. In January 2020, a class action lawsuit was filed against Blue Buffalo Pet Food regarding the pet food's marketing and challenging the high carbohydrate level of the kibble. The lawsuit claimed a small bowl of Blue Buffalo contains more carbohydrate than a wild gray wolf is likely to consume in an entire lifetime. In March, documentary film producer Cole Harrington, Pet Fooled, filed a lawsuit against the FDA for the agency refusing to provide Freedom of Information Act requested documents. In June, a lawsuit was filed against Purina for deceptive marketing claims of natural and no preservatives. The lawsuit provided test results finding Purina products containing the not-so-natural herbicide glyphosate and the chemical preservative ethoxyquin. In August 2020, two lawsuits were filed against Champion Pet Food for deceptive marketing claims of free-run poultry and wild-caught fish. The lawsuit states Champion's poultry are raised entirely indoors in typical crowded inhumane conditions, and Champion's freshwater trout are sourced from large industrial fish farms in Idaho. In October, Mars Pet Care filed a lawsuit against Simmons Pet Food for copying label colors and design. No kidding. The lawsuit referred to it as trade dress infringement. In October, a class action lawsuit was filed against Earth Animal No Hide Dog Treats for fraudulent misrepresentation and failing to fully disclose the presence of rawhide in a no rawhide treat. In January 2020, researchers at the University of Helsinki released a study regarding arsenic exposure in dogs consuming a food containing rice that's high on the ingredient list. The study found through hair analysis that dogs consuming a rice-based diet had higher levels of inorganic arsenic, and the study suggested pet owners vary the diet to prevent arsenic accumulation. A study from North Carolina University discovered high levels of variation between different cat foods, including many of the flavors produced by the same manufacturer. This suggests that large-scale pet food manufacturers vary the ingredients over time. The study originated to determine how many cats consume wild prey in their diet, but by mistake, they found that it wasn't wild birds or mice that was varying the cat's diet. It was commercial pet foods that didn't consistently use the same ingredients. In May of 2020, we learned of a study regarding CBD pet products. The study found only 10 of 27 pet products tested were close to label claims of levels of CBD, and several contained heavy metals. Also in May 2020, UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine published a study regarding dilated cardiomyopathy in dogs. This study had intentions of definitively linking grain-free dog foods with DCM. However, the study was published with several concerning errors, and since the study has been issued an expression of concern letter. Another study regarding DCM in dogs was published in June 2020. The May study from UC Davis appears to link DCM to pet foods, but this study provided evidence to the contrary. The study found there is no link of grain-free dog foods to DCM. 
And a study from Purdue University found that 8% of pet owners have consumed a pet food. Knowing that FDA allows pet food to violate federal law and include ingredients sourced from diseased animals and animals that have died other than by slaughter, we asked FDA about the study. We asked FDA, with evidence that almost one in 10 pet owners have eaten a pet food, would the agency prohibit the use of illegal ingredients or at least require a warning on the pet food label? The FDA responded with no. They wouldn't prohibit illegal ingredients in pet food, and they also would not warn pet owners. This year, we calculated the top five manufacturers of recalled pet food based on enforcement report data from FDA. Those manufacturers are number five, Mars, number four, Purina, number three, Hills, number two, Diamond, and number one, Smuckers. In 2020, we also learned that FDA allows pet food manufacturers to recondition recalled pet foods and resell those products with no warning or disclosure to pet owners. Through import records, we learned this year that China remains a leading supplier in pet food and treats. As example, more than 7 million pounds of pet shoes were imported from China into the U.S. in just six weeks. And in 2020, from a joint USDA and FDA statement, we learned that in the not-so-distant future, we can expect to see pet food ingredients sourced from lab-cultured meats.